Hey, what's up gang? I'm Andrew Bacon and welcome to my master bedroom with our bed that I built for my wife and I a few years ago. If you remember, it was kind of big, the headboard was tall, it was kind of a farmhouse look and we decided to kind of get rid of the farmhouse look and go more modern. Plus, we've got these really cool pictures and so I need to lower that headboard and I just need something kind of quick and easy to do. And So I want to show you how to make the easiest, cheapest headboard that's actually kind of contemporary and modern and it's going to take less than an hour. So check this out on this episode of Field Treasure designs. So the first step was to measure and mark my 2x12 for my main headboard. Now I'm making the cut on my miter saw. As you can see it's a smaller version because I downgraded. This blade only has a 7 and a quarter inch blade which means I have to flip the workpiece to make that long cut. It was an easy compromise though to be able to downgrade to a smaller shop and it's not that bad and it worked really well. Next, I grab my 2x6 and I'm going to make two cuts for each leg. After that, it is sand central. That's all I'm going to do for like 30 minutes is sand this thing down. I'm going to start with a little bit higher grit and then I'm going to work my way down to 220 and I'm going to keep going and I'm going to try to get down to 600 so that this thing is super smooth. Again, it's your headboard so you want it to be smooth. Okay, got the headboard done, now I need to sand the legs. If only sanding was this fast. Okay, now that I'm done, it's time for assembly. I'm using the Craig pocket hole system to drill pocket holes and then I will secure them using pocket hole screws. So the first step is to drill those holes. Next is assembly. Thankfully my Polk workbench works perfectly. I'm using micro jig clamps to go through those bench dog holes and then clamp down the work pieces so that I can fasten them together. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check out my Polk workbench video series. I'm using pocket hole screws in those pocket holes that I drilled to hold it together. Super easy. And that's it, done. Now it's time to take it upstairs. Because of the temperature and the space outside, I had to bring it inside to paint it, but no big deal. I'm using Sherwin-Williams Pro Classic Grade White Paint. A quick layout of the drop cloth and I'm ready to paint. I definitely used some acrobatics to get the job done, but all in all it was super easy and I ended up doing two coats when it was all said and done. After it was dry, it was time for the easiest installation on earth. All I did was match it up and then drill some pilot holes and then I fastened them in with two and a half inch deck screws. And that's it. I pushed it back into place. You can see my awesome son came to join me in this project and there it is. The DIY modern headboard that's so easy to make. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I've got some links and notes below and also on my blog post. Hey, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.